All new tonight, it may have been a protest, a joke, maybe even a request, but the city of Boston has washed away the hand-painted bike lane on the Congress Street Bridge. Not before, though, it made the rounds on social media and got people talking. And today, some cyclists told us that even without this homemade lane, the artist made a good point about bike safety. Here's the picture that launched a thousand tweets. It shows a hand-painted bike lane on the Congress Street Bridge. Not that artistic and definitely not straight. The lane did get a lot of attention when Mike Blackwell saw it as he rode to work and took the photo. For one, I thought it was hysterically funny because it was all sort of crude and wiggly, um, but also it was, it's like super needed. That's because Mike says the bridge is popular with cyclists. This is a major corridor for bikes and it's really tight with the cars coming through. They're always coming over to the curb. The city didn't see it quite that way and removed the paint, but you can still see the outline of the lane and the bike symbol. In a statement, the Boston Transportation Department says, we understand the motivation behind the hand painting of this bike lane. However, it's important that all potential bike lane designs go through an engineering review to ensure safety for all users. This bridge could easily accommodate bike lanes. It has the width for it. Doug Johnson heads the Boston Cyclist Union. He hopes the do-it-yourself lane spurs the city to act. We would like to see the city follow through on that and stripe bike lanes on this bridge, as well as make improvements to other stretches um, particularly the connections between the Four Point Channel in South Boston and downtown. Meanwhile, Mike Blackwell's Twitter account is busier than ever since he posted that picture. It was like hundreds of, of likes and retweets, which really surprised me. So obviously it struck a chord with a lot of people. The Boston Trans Transportation Department says it will review the bridge to see if a bike lane would work there. So we shall see. Maybe the next time we see a line there, it'll be a little straighter, a little bit brighter. Might have sparked a movement. Possibly. All right.